Hi all, Tech Terry down here, and today I want to talk a little bit about one of my favorite tools, Asana. So the way they describe themselves is the easiest way to manage team projects and tasks. And yes, it's great for working with teams, but one of my favorite features is actually the forms. So let's talk a little bit about the form functionality in Asana. So before we jump into Asana, I want to cover the alternative. So one of the ways that we'd be able to create forms previously was using Google Forms. Pretty nice, easy to use. It was free. It's obviously in the Google ecosystem. And so it was something that was really nice to use, but there really wasn't a good alternative to it. So to create that Google Form, you would create some type of uh, list here of questions that you wanted someone to respond to. Then you could share that link. And that worked fine. The only problem was that once those requests came in, is they came in a really sort of unstructured, messy format, like you can see here. So, you know, not too much in terms of formatting, no sort of data analysis or anything that you could look at. At least in Google Sheets, you would have to do some work to really pull out what you wanted. You couldn't really assign tasks to anyone without having to create, you know, maybe another column here to say, you know, tear down, you need to look at this. So it was a really not easy way to deal with responses once they came in. Now, intro Asana, which has a much more dynamic way of pulling this information in and generally. So once you create this form, like the demo that I have set up here, you would hit submit on that form. And all of that goes into an Asana board. And the Asana board is really where that magic happens. So before where you would have that Google spreadsheet with no formatting, now you can see in this Asana board, things are already formatted. Everything looks nice. You have these status columns that you can update, which I think are terrific. And you can do a lot of things like creating uh, different fields. So what day was it created on? What day was the task completed? What day do I want to actually do the task or have a due date be assigned to these? You can set assignees, so who should actually be working on this particular task? And you can organize everything nicely into these sections that are collapsible. So all of this formatting, I think, is really where Asana starts to shine. It allows you to, without thinking too much about it, really organize things in a nice way to read. Before, if you're working in the Google Sheet, you have to do a lot of thinking of, okay, these are my headers, so maybe I should make these in bold. Oh, this is a status column, so, you know, how am I going to make this so that it's easy to quickly see if this is a yes or a no? And there's a lot of functionality that's in Asana that you just can't do in Google Sheets. So what I really love about Asana as well is the ability to set up rules. So if you noticed, that new video request that I had just submitted shows up here. So this first request, this tech teardown video request, and I can expand it to get more details. So I can see the person that submitted, their email address, what they would like reviewed, and I can get all of the details that were in that form over on the side. Now what's really great is I can do things like leave notes. And I can add things like subtasks. So maybe, for example, on this one, I would like to assign a subtask that I need to email submitter for more details. And what's neat about this is that you can see now that these subtasks have come up on the side. Because rarely will you perform a task and not have some additional work that needs to be done. And so now since I've reviewed this, I can actually switch this over to in progress and I can move it to that prioritize section. And I can do things like giving it a due date. And now I know that I can work on this task and then eventually you can edit these options to get more drop downs. And so this is a really nice way that you can organize the task that you have to do. Now, another key feature for Asana is being able to create rules. 
And so a really neat role that you can set up is making it so that if you actually accomplished a task, and so you can see now that this has been marked complete and has flipped down to the completed video section down here. And so all of those roles are able to be customized, which is another big feature of Asana. I'd also like to talk about apps. So Asana integrates with many different apps that allow you to expand the functionality. So you can do things like embed videos and messages, use Miro to add in boards. You can create tasks automatically if you get an email in your Gmail account. And all of these apps are continuing to grow, which expands the functionality. You can embed Figma files. And so this is a growing list. I've already seen this grow to numerous tools since it first started. There was only a handful, but you can see all of these with the new to show you how much progress they're making on adding more apps into Asana. So Asana has been growing a lot in usage. I would say that, you know, now it's one of those tools that a lot more people are familiar with. You might even see it in the workplace. So I'll make some videos on how to actually use Asana. But this is just a demo of what Asana could look like for form intake. It's a really great way to use forms to get requests coming in. In the future, I'll make some more videos on Asana, but I'd love to know, what would you like to know about Asana? Leave comments, send me a message, and hit that subscribe button so you can be sure to get any new updates as they come out. Thanks for watching.